In this video, we're going to look at this problem that says which shapes have the same area? So there's three different shapes here. And you're probably thinking to yourself, how could they possibly have the same area when they look so different? <clears throat> well, first we need to understand the meaning of area. So area is the amount of space something covers. So like how much carpet you'd need to cover a floor or how many stickers fit on a notebook. So you can imagine how many stickers might fit on these little blocks and on these ones and on these ones. So when you look at it that way, you can kind of see that there's two shapes here where the same amount of stickers would cover that all that area. So let's look at these individually. So if we look at this shape, let's count the number of squares this has. This has one, two, three, four, five. And then if we look at this one and this one, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six. This one has one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so <clears throat> now we know that this area is five square units, right? We counted the number of squares. Then this area is six square units. We know that because we counted the number of squares. And similarly, for the little pink one, this area is five square units. And we know that because we counted the number of squares. So we can see that this one has five square units and this one has five square units. So we know the area for this one is the same as the area for this one. So the same amount of stickers would be used to cover the entire area of these shapes. So if you don't understand this, don't worry. You're probably just one explanation away from understanding it. <clears throat> 